Hi, this is Al from Fashion Studio 7 Magazine. How are you? We are here with Mr. Spider Jones in our studio here at Wallace Studios. And we just got back from the, the den, what you call it? The Spider's Web Youth Drop-In Center. And for those who don't know Spider, Spider is a fantastic man about town. He's an activist. He's a, a ex-Golden Glove fighting champion. He's an author. And he's a very, very uh, influential man in terms of getting things done in the city. And we are talking the last time about politics. You know, I can see this guy as a mayor, even though I like Ford, this is the guy can be the mayor over here. Now, Spider, you took us down to your drop-in center, and what's, what's it called? Uh, it's, it, it makes it just called the Spider's Web uh, After School Youth Drop-in Center. Very nice. It's, and uh, I mean, that's, it's open from uh, 3.30 till 8 o'clock every night at 160 Chalk Farm, and uh, we have young people coming in there from... Uh, the ages of six, seven, right up to 15, 16 years old. Yes. You know, uh, because uh, we believe that uh, young people need to be engaged. Uh, they, 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 they need to be mentored. They need places to go where there are positive role models, positive environment, and, uh, and, and a place that can empower them in their lives. And that's what the, uh, the drop-in center is all about. And, and, and the most important thing that I've learned through working with Believe to Achieve is that you, you have to reach, especially youth at risk, young people that live in social housing mm -hmm. or low-income areas, become youth at risk because of the environment they live in. And it's very important, at least we believe this at Believe to Achieve, that we have to reach them while they're still young and reach them before they're seduced by all the glitter and gold of the streets uh, because many of these, these children are born I guess you could use a lot of different um, political views mm -hmm. but, or, 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 or labels but the labels mm -hmm. but the fact is they are born behind the eight ball mm -hmm. they're, they're not born uh, on, 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 on a level playing field we have to find ways to make these things happen. They don't have the same options, they don't have the same connections, they do not have the same opportunities. And this is what we try to get through to uh, people out there with means and with influence mm -hmm. to help these young people because uh, empowered children are the future of our country. Absolutely. Whether they came, come from Rosedale or Painted Post or whether they come from Jane and Finch or whether they come from Chalk Farms, Melvern, or War Everts. It's important that they at least be allowed the same opportunities. And that's why we're there. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure that happens. Young people in the projects, young people in social housing, young people in low, uh, uh, you know, low area, uh, low-end areas have just as much creativity as anyone else. That's but right. the fact is it needs to be mentored. Mm -hmm. They need to be mentored. They need role models. And that's another very important important factor, Al, is good role models, not arrogance, not pompousity. I like people, that's why I, I, re, I admire Tim Duncan of mm -hmm. San Antonio Spurs. There's a man that is humble, he's great at what he does, he's humble, like, like and, and Dr. J was like that, uh, instead of the arrogance, because it just, it just, it gets you in trouble. You're absolutely correct. Especially in the, in the projects where you know, people take that as a as a diss. There's too much of that going on. When was that turning point? They said, "Okay, I'm going to be a mentor. I'm going to be the guy who's going to be an activist. I want to change things for the good with the youth in our society." I I, I think it, it, it. I I can't take credit for that. I, I I'm not going to sit up here and preach. I'm not a Bible thumper, but I am a I am a believer. I believe in God, and I believe that God gave me a, 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 a compassionate heart. I, I have empathy for young people that grow up in, in, in uh, underprivileged areas because I was one. I grew up in, in, in dire poverty. I mean, we, we, we lived in a rat infested house on the banks of the Detroit River. And I mean, it was tough. Five or six of us slept in one bed. We were, we were put down by everybody. Uh, and uh, it was kind of tough growing up like that. And I don't think any child should. Mm -hmm. I believe that every youth should, should have a happy life because God knows they grow up quick enough and then we gotta face all the complexities of the, uh, of the world. So I, I, I want to make their life easier, but I also want to help prepare them so when they go out into the corporate world, 
that they have the skills, the education, the skilled trades, and, and the mental, the mental, you know, the, 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 the life skills to handle that. It's so important that we do. And I think from just, I, I can only speak for myself, that this is my mission, this is what I enjoy doing, and when I see, uh, uh, I was there last night, and just, the kids come running to you, and that, that's worth more than a million dollars. They come running, to make you feel like, like, hey, this is why I am here. Last thing, what would you want to say to everybody out there? Get on board your project, other projects. What would you like to say out there? Get on board with something. What I would like to say is this, first of all, uh, there are a lot of kids out here, underprivileged kids, right in our own country, in our own city that need us to care about them, need us to offer, if it's not just finances, we always need that, I believe, to achieve. But what we need are people to care and, and help us to, to, to present opportunities and options to the underprivileged. And one other thing I'd like to say, when you're around children, think positive, say positive things, encourage them, that's what they need. And remember one thing, I'll let you go with this. Life hands us fate. Destiny is what we do with it. We're not all born with a silver spoon in our mouth. But if you want to become successful in life, you got to be willing to sacrifice. As my father used to say, my father used to say, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Sacrifice for what you want in life and good things will happen. You know something, we're in the city of Toronto, one of the finest cities in the entire world. We have gentlemen like Spider Jones who are pushing forward a better Toronto with education, with health, with fitness, with mentorship of the youth. He sees what his problems and his needs in our society. He's asking you guys, Marcel Fashion Studio 7, we're asking you as well, get on board. Check out Spider because they're going to hit that community center needs a new facelift. A new stage, new equipment, new everything. Uh, Step Spider, how can everybody get a hold if they want to donate money, become uh, involved in some of the things you're getting into? Well, there's a couple things you can do. You can go to spiderjones at rogers.com. That's my email. Or you can go to the website, www.believetoachieve.ca. And any contrib contribution you make, you will get a receipt for it. But we need all the help we can get, so spread the word. Yeah, you guys, this is Spider Jones, one of the finest human beings in the city of Toronto, you know, Ontario, Canada, let's just stretch out a little bit for it. Detroit was happy to have you give birth, Windsor, that, that area of town, and we're happy to have you here. And thank you for being part of Fashion Studio 7 Magazine. If there's anything that we can help you with in terms of your projects, let us know, we can come out. I know you have a fashion show you want to put up later on. And uh, I want the project. fashion show for the kids because you want them to get their products out there, show people these creativity young people have today. Yeah, you and know, it's, it's amazing talents. So we're gonna we need more platforms where we uh, to display this stuff, mm -hmm. more forms where we can say, you know, you gotta believe to achieve. Is that what it was? Absolutely. There we go. All right, this is Al Spider Jones saying goodbye. We'll catch you later.